Hello and welcome to a contest entry video. Let's adjust the screen there. Yeah, another contest entry video. Uh, video entry for a contest. Um, we've been through this before. I don't want to <laughs> waste time um, mumbling and whatever. Uh, yeah, contest. Contest entry. To um, uh, DVD Collector 100's contest competition thing. Uh, she's a great YouTuber. I've only just found, found her videos, really. Um, through this competition, which is, in my opinion, the best thing about these things because they spread the good word, good channels, and all that kind of stuff. Um, which is why I do these in a way. I mean, I never win any of these things, so <laughs> I just did it to spread the good word and, you know, get those usernames and links out there for people to go, oh, okay, I'll, I'll check this person out. They're doing a contest, I want to get some free stuff. And then they go, oh, they've actually got some good videos, and then they, you know watch the videos and then don't win the contest and then, you know it all works out in the end uh, but yeah um, she's got two great prizes um, I would say enter this but it is the 24th now and that's when it closes so I might not even make it into the, the final cut I guess which is fine which is uh, <coughs> fine by me because I just want to answer the questions because I think that's some pretty cool questions to answer and yeah because recently I've just been like oh, videos, what to do, what to do and this one's a nice and simple easy one, just answering a couple of questions. Uh, the first question she wants us to answer. Your favourite film so far of 2012? Very tough question to answer. Um, I'm going to catch the chase and say The Dark Knight Rises, without a doubt. Um, there's been some great films this year. I mean, in terms of like blockbusters and stuff. I think Snow White and the Hudson was great. I think The Avengers was awesome. Dark Knight Rises was fantastic. And my favourite film. There's been some great other smaller films like uh, Carnage, um, which I'm sure no one's even heard of, but it was brilliant. Seeking a Friend for the End of the World was great. Um, oh, there's loads. Um, the Hunger Games I really enjoyed. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more. There's got to be a lot more. I was thinking about this last night, actually. Um, I had a lot more in my head. I was thinking about it. Lawless was a very good one. Um, Dread, I loved. The Raid. Um, I'm sure there's some good dramas and stuff as well. Um, yeah, I've enjoyed a lot of films this year, a lot of films. But for me, The Dark Knight Rises so far is is the best of the year because I don't think anything could ever rep replicate that experience when I went to the 5 a.m. showing with my best mate, and it was just like, <sighs> oh. And that the the last three minutes of The Dark Knight Rises for me has just got to be the best ending to a film ever. <clears throat> That's not me getting emotional and choked up. I just had a <clears throat> bit of a sore throat. Although I was getting choked up when I saw the film because it was just oh, so emotional, you know. And when a film can get me like that, and like you get that kind of feeling in your chest, you know, at the end of a film, it was just like, oof, you know. Um, my mum was just watching The Dark Knight Rises on the weekend. She got um, a pirate copy, a downloaded copy. Um, so I was like, oh, I'm not watching this, the quality's crap. Um, but I kind of popped into the living room to watch the last three minutes. Still got me, still got me. I was like, <laughs> so good. I can't, you know, I can't not give the Dark Knight Rises the top billing as my favorite film of the year so far. Just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Uh, the second question is favorite villain of all time. This was actually a lot harder than I thought when I was thinking about it. Um, I mean, you got like classic villains, you know, uh, like Darth Vader, you know, stuff like that. Um, what else? You know, like yeah, it's tough. It's tough. I mean, you could go to the the, the the Dark Knight trilogy, you know, Bane, fantastic. Heath Ledger's Joker, fantastic. Liam Neeson as um, uh, Ra's al Ghul, again, fantastic. Um, I'm just looking at my films now, actually. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of great villains. Uh, the, the one that I really kind of was drawn to saying is um, uh, Anthony Hopkins as Hannibal Lecter in Silence of the Lambs, uh, Red Dragon, and Hannibal. Although Hannibal's my least favourite. Oh, no, and he's not really that much of a villain, I would say, not in the least Silence of the Lambs. Um, but I think when you got like a series of books like that, um, where you know serial killers, murder, crime, mystery, kind of, those books, you know, they're, they're they're all over the shop. I mean, there's so many of those books, and I'm not saying that the Silence of the Lambs and Red Dragon was like all those other books because they were great books. I've read them both many times, um, but you know, Hannibal Lecter is essentially a character in one of those serial killer books 
the film was made of, and he became this icon. You know, Hannibal Lecter is a film icon, and it's an unlikely one as well, I think, because it's not a big blockbuster film, it's not a superhero film or anything like that. And yeah, he just pulled off this amazing performance. And, you know, the, the character was there anyway, I mean, the the, the content and the, the lines and stuff, <coughs> but the way he delivered them, the way he embodied that character was just brilliant. Science of Labs is a fantastic film, it's the first movie Blu-ray I ever bought. Um, I was like, I've got to get that, that's the one, you know. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer Hannibal Lecter on this one. Um, although he's not, I don't really see him as a villain in Science of the Labs, you know, he doesn't, well he gets involved I guess towards the end, but... Um, yeah, I'm sure there's one that I'm missing out, like Darth Vader, I guess, but he was cool, you know, I guess. I guess you could say he's your favourite villain and stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Um, and I'll give a special mention to um, to Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2, because I just think he's a fantastic villain, because we got to see how he became the villain. And we, well, I identified with his character because, you know, if your wife gets killed because of a problem that you had caused, you know, you would just go nuts, you know. And that's I think that's one of the most realistic portrayals of, like, a guy who was normal, who went bad, you know. It wasn't just, like, a chewing up the scenery kind of uh, token Hollywood bad guy, you know. <clears throat> there was, like, a, a real good story behind that one. Um, I forget what his name was now. Alfred Molina played him. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, my final answer would be Hannibal Lecter. I'm sorry if this is going on too long, by the way. Uh, three favorite Disney movie. This is the final of three questions. That was a tough one as well. Very tough. Um, again, looking at my Disney Blu-rays. Um, I've got a lot of Dis favorite Disney films. Um, I love them. I used to have almost all of them on VHS. I kind of skipped a generation. Never bought any DVD of a Disney film. And now I'm getting onto the Blu-rays, which I love. I love Disney Blu-rays. They're so good. Like, um, like Connie and my fiance, she was just like, you know, oh, it's a cartoon, you know, it's a cartoon, how's it going to look any better on Blu-ray? I'm like, oh, it's on film, you know, and then I showed it to her and she was just like, you know, and then she got it as well. And then she was like, get some more Disney Blu-rays, if I buy one, get one free off, I'll do it. Uh, so we got loads now, but, but yeah, I'm going to go with this, The Lion King. Uh, this is, I think it's the first Blu-ray I bought and watched and it's just like that opening shot, the sunset and then the, the music kicking in oh, goosebumps, when a film can give you goosebumps in the first three seconds you know it's a, a winner um, it's just a brilliant film it's just classic, great music great animation, great story great voice acting, just great Disney-ness uh, but I got loads of other favourites you know, like Dumbo um, why is my mind going to a blank um, what films do I have, yeah Dumbo uh, the Aristocats, I love the Aristocats. Um, Tangled, I think is brilliant. Uh, Fantasia, even though it's a bit out there, I really love Fantasia. I used to watch it a lot when I was a kid, which I'm really surprised because we watched it recently and I was like, wow, this is a long film and there's not much going on. I don't know how I like watched it over and over again when I was really young. Um, Aladdin, Aladdin is brilliant. Beauty and the Beast is fantastic. Um, Peter Pan, The Rescue is Down Under. Love that film, I love the opening shot of that film, it's awesome. And um, uh, Basil the Great Mouse Detective. I love that film. And I, I think I read somewhere that um, it is coming to Blu ray at some point, so I cannot wait for that. I think that's a real underrated Disney classic, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, if you're talking about Disney, I'm going to go with The Lion King, I think. Um, if you're talking about Disney Pixar, whew, that's a whole other story because I'm just in love with some of those Pixar films. They're just brilliant. <clears throat> for example, Wall E, I think, is probably like close to being a perfect film, but uh, that's just me. But yeah, we'll leave that for now. That's that's my three answers. I don't want this video to be longer than ten minutes. Lion King, Hannibal Lecter, Dark Knight Rises. Three very different answers to three very different questions for this contest entry. Which I hope I win, because I've never seen Shutter Island, which is one of the prizes she's offering. And uh, that'd be cool to see that. And I love Steelbooks. I'm all about Steelbooks. <clears throat> but yeah, check out her channel. I'll leave a link down below, and uh, yeah, go check her out. I mean, she's just getting subscribers all over the place now. <laughs> she's, this this is her um, 700 subscribers um, contest, and she now has over 800. So <laughs> I think this contest has done its job, and uh, it's a great way of giving back and spreading the word. So there we go. Thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.
probably. <laughs> yeah, he's really cool. <laughs> but he's not quite as cool as you, because... <laughs>